Welcome. This online session is one of a series of mindfulness explorations of artwork and objects held in the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery. As part of the slow art movement, we're going to invest some time in pausing in our busy lives to look, to breathe and to be curious. We are going to focus on this blue and white teapot made in the late 18th century at the Salopian China Manufactory in Carfley in Shropshire. First, make sure you're sitting comfortably with your feet on the floor. Try to relax your neck, shoulders and arms. Gently flex your hands and fingers and then rest them in your lap. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. As you continue to breathe, acknowledge the thoughts that may be entering your head and release them as you focus on the teapot. Tea had been brought from China to England in the 1600s. The dried crumbled leaves of the camellia plants were an expensive commodity and tea drinking became very fashionable for the very rich. It was highly taxed by the government and it took months to make the sea journey from China. In 1784, the tea tax was reduced, making it more affordable, although still out of the reach of the many. Taking tea, as it became known, became a social pastime and potteries began designing and manufacturing tea services. As tea drinking developed as a habit for the wealthy, the tea services became more lavish. It wasn't until the 1830s, when the tea trade with India began, did tea become more readily available and affordable for most people. Let's take a closer look at the teapot. What shape is the main body of the pot? Is it a similar shape to a teapot you might have at home? In fact, do you even have a teapot? We now have the convenience of a quickly dipped tea bag in a mug of hot water. Maybe you still think of tea making as a ceremony just like the 18th century wealthy did or as a traditional ritual like the Chinese and Japanese still do today. Do you have a favourite blend or make of tea? Recall what it smells like when you open the box. Feel the warmth as you place your hands around the cup or mug. How does that make you feel? Now focus on the blue and white transfer printed pattern on the teapot. In the West we read from left to right. Try looking at the pattern from right to left, the same as reading Chinese writing. Start at the bottom right where there is a small bridge. Following the design round to the tall pagoda, passing the small hut on the river bank. I wonder if this was a fisherman's hut or a priest's home. The pagoda is a sacred Buddhist temple surrounded by plants and trees. What sounds might you hear in the grounds? Maybe bird song or the gentle rustle of the wind through the leaves. Can you smell the flowers in the garden? Let your eyes travel towards the bridge over the river. There are two people standing on the bridge. Who might they be? Imagine watching the water flow under the bridge, listening to the sound it makes. In the distance, you can see a sampan travelling along the river. Could it be transporting tea from the high slopes of the tea plantations to a port to start its journey to England. Draw back from the pattern 
and look again at the whole teapot. The design was created in England to copy the Chinese style that was so fashionable. An extra layer of lavishness was added with the hand-gilded gold foliage border around the top, along the spout and the handle. Look closely and you can see where the gilding has worn away on the handle through over 200 years of use. The little mushroom knob on the lid has also been gilded as the crowning glory to this teapot. Now, do you have a favourite cup or mug at home? What memories or significance does it hold for you? Return now to looking at the pattern on the teapot. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Enjoy this quiet moment and take it with you into your day. Thank you for taking time to look at one of the objects from the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery.